is Kwan, and I am a developer advocate for DevNet. Hi, I'm Boat Agbotwala. I'm the Director of Product Management uh, for Technology Partnerships at Duo Security, which is part of Cisco. Well, welcome, Boat. I'm glad to have you here with us today. I mean, Cisco security has been a big thing for Cisco for a long time, but we're putting a lot more focus on it now. Um, how does Duo fall into place with Cisco security efforts? I think Duo's come a long way since uh, it was you know, being a part of Cisco. It started out simply as multi-factor auth. But if you look at Duo today, it's not only protecting your applications, it's protecting your users, and it's protecting your devices. And what we've done is we've expanded the product suite uh, to start with multi-factor auth, we added in password lists, which is becoming very popular in the security space because passwords are insecure. Um, our SSO products allows you to protect any application. That's the unique thing about Duo is you can do cloud, legacy, on-prem, all of your applications can be protected. And then if you look at users and devices and the devices that they use, uh, Duo not, not only protects the user, as I said, it protects your devices, our device health application does posture check even before you're actually authing into the application. And it really checks making sure the endpoint is secure um, before you get access to the application. Oh, that's like great, with, and especially now with a lot of people being remote workers, I noticed that there's a lot more um, MFA and being able to go in and use applications without having a VPN. I mean, that's a big that's thing right. now so that they can not have to go on VPN anymore and just have that extra protection. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the whole work environment has changed. Right? People are working from everywhere. People are at home, people are in coffee shop, people are working here, um, as you can see, right? And Duo provides that extra layer of protection, right? You can be on any network, um, you don't have to be on a VPN, and you get that added layer of security, which comes from Duo. And that's where Duo fits, fits in with all the security products uh, you see uh, at uh, Cisco Secure. Yeah, that's great. But since I'm from the developer world, <coughs> We know Duo, okay, like for me, I log in, I have to go pull out my phone and then do type in the number so that I can authenticate MFA. But Duo has so many more APIs in MFA. So can you tell us about the different types of APIs that are there and what is the use case? Like why would somebody want to use those particular APIs? Sure, so the most basic API, as you said, we have is our MFA API. We have three different ways you can do multi-factor auth APIs for your application. So that's table stakes uh, at Duo. The other APIs you can actually look at are admin APIs. And this is basically to do uh, programmatic management and workflows and hook them up into your other applications. So for example, uh, you can have uh, it hooked into Workday. It's for user onboarding and offboarding. As you start getting employees mm -hmm. and they get onboarded, you don't have to manually go into Duo. You can connect it to Workday, call our APIs, uh, and get them uh, hooked in and authorized. You can get their phone number put in as well. Um, it's highly used in the education space. If you look at universities and schools, a lot of churn, right? Students yeah. coming in, students coming out. Cannot be a manual process. So again, binding it to your workflow to getting uh, users in and out of uh, Duo and getting them authorized. So we'll start with that one. The other ones are our logging APIs, um, and those are used for either auditing purposes or investigative purposes, right? Okay. In case, you know, God forbid you had a breach and you want to see the, your users, you can actually take that data from Duo uh, for analysis purposes uh, to see what's going on. Or even if users are complaining they're not able to audit, you can tap into our logging APIs to see exactly what's going wrong uh, mm -hmm. and why can't they access certain applications. I mean, I know. I think that there are, are like other ones that, like the whole OAuth being able to go in. Same thing for multi-factor. But like, well, for multi-factor, there are SDKs for it, right? right? So it's very easy to be able to integrate that in. And I believe that it comes in many coding languages, like Python. There's like, I believe, like That's right. Java, and a whole list of them. So even though um, you know, a lot of people might be, hey, I want to use it, but I'm coding in this one. It's, I don't 
know, I believe like at least 10 coding languages yeah. there. Yeah, so we have a, a whole bunch of um, SDKs available on GitHub um, that you can use out of the box, and that's for a web SDK and OIDC, but we also have a REST API, right? So if you want to actually program without using the dual UI uh, into your workflow and have your own custom UI, you can absolutely do that. And that API provides you the ultimate flexibility, not just for MFA, uh, but actually just using it for an authorization workflow. So I'll give you an example, right? So let's say you work in a bank, right? And somebody wants to do a million dollar transaction, right? And you try to do that transaction and you want that to go through an authorization workflow between three managers because it's well, a really, I would hope really so. Yeah, and you don't <laughs> want it to be instantly done. Yeah. So you can integrate this into your banking application, and as soon as you try to do that transaction, you can use Duo to do an authorization, oh. and the user will get a pop-up saying, do you authorize this transaction? If they say yes, it goes to the next person uh, in the branch saying, you know, both tried to do a million dollar transaction, do you approve this transaction? And you say yes, and, it, and you can have a multi-chain transaction flow built in simply using Duo uh, APIs. And it's not MFA, it's like an authorization workflow. Mm -hmm. We actually have one customer using this for pushing code to production, right? Oh. It's a very interesting use case. Oh. They use Duo uh, for MFA, but they have very sensitive code um, that they don't want like some developer just pushing. So it goes through a chain of command and they use the Duo APIs for authorization and code review before it actually hits production. That's actually quite interesting because as a developer, I, I've never you know, experienced that, but that actually makes a lot of sense because they want to give them the ability to push the code, but then you want it to have a gate before you can do that. Right. And that's actually an interesting use case for it. So our APIs are not just used by our customers. We have a lot of partners, right? Security is all about the ecosystem, yeah. right? How many partners do you integrate with? Not everybody uses everything from Duo or everything from Cisco. They use it you know, from 10 different vendors. Yeah. How do you tie into those vendors, right? And the only way you can do that is programmatically. You absolutely have to have APIs where you can put all the security together and build a better security product with your partners. Uh, we have over, I think, 250 partners right now. There's a bunch of them uh, that we just started to integrate with, and they're using our new API, which is our policy API. It okay. just went into public preview, and the important thing about a policy API is if you have another product that detects some, something anomalous and they want to do a policy change, in Duo, they can now do that programmatically. If they want to take a user from a particular policy group and put them into a more stricter policy group, you can now do that programmatically as well. So if they're seeing risk, they can programmatically now change the user type within Duo simply by calling our policy APIs. That's awesome, and I know a lot of people want the, Duo, the policy API, so it's great to hear that it's actually coming out. Yeah, with policy, it's, it's very, very tricky, right? You can have thousands of applications, and then you can have a thousand policies, and trying to do that manually within the UI, yeah. this makes it extremely difficult. So now you can just pull our policies, you can do audits on it, you can even do change management, right? So you're changing a policy, you can fire off an event into your change management tool for auditing purposes, like who actually made the policy change, which application was it done on, how many people does it affect? So it can all be done by APIs. Anything else cool about Duo that's coming up that you can talk about? So the new things that um, Duo is adding to our product portfolio is, one was announced recently, it's risk-based authentication. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically looking at risk at auth, right? Uh, we take a bunch of signals, when the user is actually authenticating to make sure they're actually secure before that authentication happens. But we want to go beyond that, right? So we want to do continuous trusted access. We let you into the door, but what happens when you're actually in an application? What's actually going on? What if your risk level has changed? Can Duo protect you uh, while that session is actually happening? So we call that continuous trusted access. Um, so we're continuing down that path, and we're looking at how can we actually work with SaaS applications to understand if there's a risk happening in a third party application, can we take that signal in and maybe you know do a step of auth or even terminate a session if we think the person is actually a bad actor. So look out for that in the in the coming months uh, from Duo. Awesome. Thank you for your time here and I you know check out the Duo, check out Duo and check out the Duo APIs. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.